Well, good afternoon, everyone. It's Larky and Lynn here to do some trainer talk on this wonderful Thursday afternoon. Uh, it is absolutely gorgeous out. It's around 75 degrees and not hot and humid, so I'm happy about that. Uh, let's see, Lark, what do we do today? Hmm? What do we do today? Well, I think that some of you probably saw our, our first puppy march over to the puppy pen. That was a lot of fun. Um, I find it's very easy to trip over the puppies. So on the way back, I actually did the jogging. The puppies were right behind me on my heels. So either I have to pick it up as far as uh, running and um, be totally out of breath by the time I get up the big hill um, or the puppies are going to learn to walk slower. So it was a lot of fun though. They loved being out in the grass. They, they had the zoomies. They played where the teepee is going to be built. Um, in that sand and they just had a blast. So I got lots of pictures, so I will be um, doing some editing on them and getting them into uh, our Facebook site. So that, it'll be fun. Um, let me see, it was hot earlier this week. It finally has cooled down. Uh, so training was a little bit difficult, but we did go out. Um, it's just hard to park in the parking lots and have to walk across the asphalt when it's 90 degrees out because the, it is hot and I uh, carefully pay attention to the dog's feet, make sure that they are not showing any signs of it being too, too hot. But uh, we had some errands to do. Larky actually helped me on one of them. We had to find some fencing, um, I don't even, equipment I'm gonna call it. It was something that uh, Carly needed four of. So she gave me one, she says, here you go, go find me four more. So we went to, where'd we go? We went to Home Depot and struck out. We went to Lowe's and we struck out. And then we, on the way back, we finally made a quick little detour, went to, where'd we go? Tractor Supply, which is pretty much maybe two miles from here. And lo and behold, they had a plethora of them. So we learned our lesson that way to go to the, um, the stores immediately next to us instead of the big box stores. <laughs> so that was good. Um, let me see what else happened. Oh, Bianca, a little Bianca went into heat today. So she will be staying here at the farm um, so that she is not near Watson. Watson does have a, um, a respiratory infection going right now so he is pretty much quarantined at my house and he hasn't been here for since I got back on vacation uh, he's been back and forth to the vet trying to get the right antibiotic to kick it and uh, he is feeling a lot better though but we want to make sure that uh, he stays separate from the rest of them so that is exciting news uh, she's actually becoming a little woman now um, so what else? What else is going on? Every Oh, the dogs are doing fantastic down at the barn at feeding time. Um, right now I have our kennel helpers are the ones standing in front of the bowls and calling the dogs over, having them wait and then tell them when they can approach the bowls and start eating. And meanwhile, the trainer is the one who is moving the dogs. They are bring, letting the dogs out. They're keeping the dogs all quiet. So all 10 dogs on that side have to be very quiet. Um, they get rewarded with a cookie only if they are quiet. And I find that um, we're also doing a little bit of recall work with them and giving them some wet food. When they kennel up, they get a little bite of wet food before the door gets closed. Um, I know that Jasmine has, uh, she has a little issue at times of recall, so that is helping her tremendously. I mean, we, we don't even ask her to kennel up. She just runs into a kennel and um, we reward her and give her and go ahead and close the door. But I also have our kennel help um, letting her out, letting her run, recalling her. She goes back to the kennel. She gets highly rewarded. And then we let her back out of the kennel so that she knows that she's not going to be in the kennel all day long. It's okay. She can still go out and play. And she seems to like that quite a bit. Hey, Mouthy. Um, so that is what we've been doing and I would say all week and part of, I'd say all weekend also, I was here all weekend, um, that was working well. So the dogs have been very quiet, which has been very nice. Um, let's see. Did I still put the towel in here? No. 
I don't think so. Yeah. She, it's we just about stuff her in that yeah. thing. <laughs> I don't think she needs the towel anymore. Is he gonna be all right? Yeah. He'll be fine. He'll, he's with me doing train to talk. Right. He's, he's talking. He's Go talking to his audience, huh? Aren't you? Laka 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 Oh yes, I know, I know. Uh, let me see. Crafty wants to know how is Gabby? Gabby is awesome. She is such a good girl. She. Um, They've been, it's just been hot. I've been leaving them home. They hang out on the sofas on, with the air conditioning blasting on them, living like queens and kings like they should um, until I get home and then it's playtime. So they, they're doing great. <laughs> uh, how is Sandy's tummy? Any more vomiting? I haven't noticed any more vomiting coming from her. her. I think, um, you know, I think it's just the fact that she eats. She probably is a little bit overeating at times. She gets pounced on by one of her brothers, gets a little overexcited, and then, um, and then just lets loose. Um, do you want to take that shoelace out of his mouth? Thank you. There you go. <laughs> Did you see that? What else do you want to talk about, Larky? Huh? And talk about what a handsome boy he is. What a handsome boy Larky is. He's a very nice boy, huh? Yes, he is. <laughs> um, oh, three more comments. Let me see. Do you train the dogs to wear boots for if it's hard enough to burn their paws? I don't... Um, I don't put boots on the dogs. I find that when the dog is in transit going someplace, they tear them off and then they start chewing them. And, you know, I've, I tried it with my own dogs for a while and it, I found that I was constantly replacing them again and again and again. What I do put on my dogs, um, if I know that they are going out where it is hot, um, is the muck paws, which is a it's almost like a wax that you put at the bottom of the paws. You do have to keep applying it, but it does protect their paws from the heat. It protects them from ice and cold. Jesus. Thank you. Can you sit her in? Uh, how are the dogs doing overnight? The dogs are actually doing pretty well overnight. I have my um, the trainers come in at 8, but the kennel help no longer comes in at 7. They come in at 7.15, therefore they drive right down to the barn after they clock in, they drive right down to the barn so the dogs aren't watching them get out of their car, they start barking, they bark the whole entire time that they're walking down the driveway. So that, um, A, we're after the seven o'clock period of time and by them coming in later and they're not walking, they're driving so they get to the barn a lot quicker to keep um, things a lot quieter. So. Knock on wood, we have not had any complaints. Uh, let me see. Did Anna get spoon fed on the walk? No, Anna did not get spoon fed. She um, she actually wasn't paying attention to any of the tapping, to the pop, 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 because she's not part of that group when we train these guys and that's probably a good thing that she's um you know she she has her own routine with her own meatballs and her own gelatin um and yeah she 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 doesn't she's not trained for the pop 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 for the puppy marches um, right but now they're not Okay, Seagram says that, hi Lynn and the CP, Seagram was amazing as usual for the hand surgery on Tuesday. She came home and had so much fun in her yard. That's awesome. Um, yeah, I hope that you heal very quickly and I know that Seagram will take care of you. That's for sure. Okay, and Jerry Ray says that my dogs are just like Lynn's. Leave me in the AC and go out about your business. When it cools down, they'll go out and play. That's exactly what they do. Um, 
Musher's Wax, that, that is one of the brands that, um, that we use. Um, there's a couple of different ones out there, but I def I got a big vial, big tube of it. Um, actually, it's a container, and it, it's just like a, a regular wax. You just put it on. You have to reapply it a couple of times. Dogs, it doesn't hurt the dogs if they lick it. They tend not to lick it because it doesn't have any taste. It doesn't have any sensation. Hey, buddy, come here. You're supposed to be helping me. Come here. Hey, Larky, come. Oh, I thank you. I need you to come here for me, just for minutes, okay? Um, let me see. So it's 5.05, I am past my time limit. So I am going to go find Carlene so that she can do her trainer talk, uh, her mail call, thank you. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, you see Bev has something fun. Bev, what do you have that's fun over there that you would like to share with Laka Laka? I have a flamingo. <gasps> flamingo, I think so. I love flamingos. <gasps> Ooh. All right. Well, that's all that I have for everybody. Everyone be safe. Stay cool. It's supposed to get warmer out this weekend, which I'm excited about. Um, and I will see you all next week. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. okay. Well, this is an outfit that wants to have our tax exempt number nope. sent to them. Nope. That's not very exciting. You can have that. Okay. Who's parking, Who is it? Are they 
Okay, that out. And this is Claire Hawkins from Florence, Oregon. Okay. No, that's these guys. In memory of Pam and Sheila. Sounds like they were outside. What? No. Not barking. It's fine. Why don't you back up, okay? There we go. Okay. We got it. Yeah, I know. I know. I met Sheila the first time I visited and worked the Crazy Acres in 2014. The crumbs were babies. I met Susie Hutchinson then, too along with Megan, Tracy, Mark, and all the others. Oh, come on now, what happened? I think they're telling me that I didn't turn it on. Call from Wireless Service Dog Project? It's on! Bye. Thanks. We'll get a couple of those, I'm sure. I'm sure. It was a crazy, wonderful time, and then Pam, our singing, dancing, yuppie, puppy whisperer, who could calm any storm, especially the parvo epidemic. Oh, I remember that. Pam and Gracie helped us all make sense of that time. Please use the enclosed memory of the two of the best people I ever known, Claire Hawkins from Florence, Oregon. Very nice. There we go. There we go. Okay, what do we got for boxes? Anything? Hold that thought. Huh? So Do we have boxes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Thank one you. big thing. Is there on the chair? Yeah. I opened that three days ago, oh. didn't I? No, the box is for Linda. Oh, okay then. Nothing, no boxes. That's all we all have. Right. Okay. That's all we have, okay. Oh, my all goodness, right. okay. okay. Well, Claire, thank you. There. There you go. Okay. Donation from Claire. We did that. Yeah. Sheila and right. Pam, so thank it's you. Okay. Yeah. We had a lovely run with the puppies today. It went really well. Very good. Yes, you're very good. You are. You're getting so big. Trying to get her to the point of eating, putting the dish in her holder there. Oh, really? And then putting one meatball in at a okay. time. Okay, okay, I didn't know that. Okay, yeah. I remember next So tomorrow. that she, yeah, we're trying yeah. to get her, Yeah. we're trying okay. to get her organized for graduation. <laughs> okay. Let's see, you're going to read those? Um, are you going to do those? I'm going to try to, yeah. Okay. Let's see if we can get this done, right? All right, so... It's okay. It's all right. Okay. It's okay. So here we go. Uh, Sam K says sound is back on. That's after Kelly said there is no sound. Sound is off for a bit. Oh, I wonder what happened. Lynn shut it off when she finished. Oh, oh okay. Uh, <coughs> D29 says Anna's own version of spoon feeding. So showing a picture of Get Sarah. Right mm -hmm. Okay. No, up. Oh, okay. So we're we don't have many. That's it, really. That's it. There's nothing. There's literally. That's okay. it. That's all we have. All right. So I guess we're done. Are we Nobody done? wants to say anything. Nobody wants to say anything. Well, they had such a good time watching the puppies. They probably they're probably all ready to go exhaust. to sleep themselves. <laughs> exhaust. <laughs> Okay. Uh, <laughs> well, what's for dinner? We usually talk about that, don't we? I don't think there is any. Is there any? Well, there should be. Not much. There's no dinner. Well, I don't know. I had, I had, I had fish at noon. Okay. There's one I don't, container. I don't know what it is. Hi, baby. I had crackers and cheese already. A little <laughs> while ago. I don't think that. If there's any spaghetti or whatever, I'll have some. But okay. I, I have a feeling we're getting I'm, low. Getting low. Tomorrow's food day oh, okay All so right. we have to see what's out there go see what's out there okay. I don't know. and why don't we just say goodbye to everybody okay goodbye everybody i guess we're all bye. set have a nice thursday night bye